So I'm just going to discuss the concept of shoulder extension. So oftentimes we're always told to keep our shoulders down and back like this and that kind of creates this excessive curve here. And while there's nothing wrong with experiencing being up like that, we shouldn't have to hold ourselves always like that. But many times in life when people start feeling pain when they're reaching behind their back or when they reach behind them, we need to explore this idea of the shoulder going behind them. So I want you to imagine your arm like a pendulum where the hand is the clock, the, the ticker, and as I move back you'll appreciate that my shoulder goes forward. And from the front, if I do that on both sides, what you'll actually see is that my shoulders, or my shoulder blades, go over the top of the mountain, so to say, of my upper back. So you'll see my traps lift up a bit. Now that's different between hiking and just reaching back, reaching back, reaching back, and naturally there will be this tilt of that and I get like a bit of a divot in my collarbone here. So that's an important concept whether I'm doing it like this like with a straight arm and coming back I actually get a nice stretch here or here are both ways that we could go and even you know like a skier position in the Olympics I could go here feel that and then go down and reach my hands back and get those triceps going on because a lot of times people have trouble fully straining their arms here so that could just be a concept I'm going to reach back, reach back, see my shoulder blades react okay, I'm trying to get equal weight, uh, equal uh, arm straining between both sides I could feel a difference in me but you know not everyone's perfect obviously and then I reach back and I'm reaching to the wall behind me and I can just feel my triceps working like that and it's just a good way of exploring this motion that happens every time we walk we need this shoulder extension so give that idea an exploration and let me know how it goes